Thank you for watching Two Vision. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Western TV shows, Gunsmoke. Um, as a kid growing up, I used to be fascinated by this show, and I loved it. And I thought today that I would take a dive into this and and give some facts and a uh, little trivia on Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke began as a radio drama before transitioning to television. The radio series premiered on April 26 of 1952 on the CBS radio network and aired until June 18 of 1961. Created by John Meston and produced by Norman MacDonald, the radio show is known for its gritty and realistic portrayal of the Old West. The radio version of Gunsmoke featured William Conrad as the voice of Marshal Matt Dillon, Parley Bear as Chester Wesley Proudfoot, Howard McNear as Doc Adams, and Georgia Ellis as Kitty Russell. The show followed the adventures of Marshall Dillon as he maintained law and order in the frontier town of Dodge City, Kansas. Similar to the television series, the radio version of Gunsmoke explored moral and ethical dilemmas, as well as the complexities of human nature. It was well received by audiences and became one of the most popular and enduring Western radio dramas of its time. The success of the radio show laid the groundwork for the transition to television, where Gunsmoke continued its legacy as one of the most iconic Western series in television history. The television series starred James Arnaz as Marshal Matt Dillon, the central character in the fictional town of Dodge City, Kansas. During the late 19th century, the show portrayed Dillon's efforts to maintain law and order in a rough-and-tumble frontier town. Alongside Arnaz, the original cast included actors like Milburn Stone as Doc Adams, Amanda Blake as Miss Kitty Russell, and Dennis Weaver as Chester Goody. While the exact year is not stated in the series, it generally takes place in the 1870s to 1880s, at a time characterized by lawlessness, conflicts with Native American tribes, and the rapid growth of settlements in the Western Territories. James Arness was born James King Arness on May 26 of 1923 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He was the son of Rolf Arness, a businessman, and Ruth Dulisler, a journalist. How many of you knew that Peter Graves was James Arness's brother in real life? And why they didn't have the same names was he used the stage name Graves as a maternal family name to honor his mother and family. And he also used the name to not be confused with his elder brother James Arnaz, star of the television show Gunsmoke. Arnaz was notably tall, standing at 6 foot 7 inches. His towering presence contributed to his commanding performance of Marshal Matt Dillon. Arnest served in World War II as a rifleman with the U.S. Army's 3rd Infantry Division. He was severely wounded during the Battle of Anzano in Italy, for which he received the Purple Heart and the Bronze Star. After the war, Arnest pursued acting and found success in both film and television. His breakout role came in 1955 when he was cast as Marshal Matt Dillon in the television series Gunsmoke. He portrayed Dillon for the entire 20 seasons run of the show, from 1955 to 1975, making it one of the longest running and most beloved Western series in television history. The first consideration of Marshal Matt Dillon was John Wayne. Arnaz was married twice. His first marriage was to Virginia Chapman that ended in divorce in 1960. They had three children together. He later married Janet Surtees in 1978, and they remained married until his death in 2011. James Arnaz received several honors throughout his career, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. In 1981, he was inducted into the Western Performers Hall of Fame at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. 
Amanda Blake was born Beverly Louise Neal on February 20th of 1929 in Buffalo, New York. Amanda Blake began her acting career in the early 1950s. She appeared in various films and television shows before landing her iconic role as Miss Kitty Russell on Gunsmoke. She portrayed the character of Kitty as the proprietor of the Long Branch Saloon in Dodge City. Throughout the entire 20-season run of the series from 1955 to 1975. Miss Kitty Russell was one of the central characters on Gunsmoke, and Blake's portrayal of her as a strong, independent, and compassionate woman resonates with audiences. Her character served as a moral compass and provided support to Marshal Matt Dillon and other residents of Dodge City. Amanda Blake's on-screen chemistry with James Arness was a significant aspect of the Gunsmoke series and contributed to the show's success. The dynamic between Miss Kitty and Marshal Matt Dillon added depth to both characters and became a defining element of the series. Following her departure from Gunsmoke, Amanda Blake continued to act in films and television. However, she never found another role as iconic as Miss Kitty. Some of her notable post-Gunsmoke appearances included guest roles on shows like Heart to Heart and The Love Boat. Outside of her acting career, Amanda Blake was known for her dedication to animal welfare. She was a passionate advocate for animal rights and supported various animal charities and causes. In her final season on Gunsmoke, Series star Amanda Blake brought her pet lion to work. His name was Chemo. The incident made headlines. Dennis Weaver played the character of Chester Goody on Gunsmoke from the show's inception in 1955 until 1964. Ken Curtis joined the cast of Gunsmoke as Festus Hagen in 1964. Initially as a recurring character, Festus eventually became a series regular and served as the newly deputy of Marshal Matt Dillon. Dennis Weaver's departure from Gunsmoke was primarily due to his desire to pursue other acting opportunities and expand his career beyond the role of Chester Goody. The differences between Chester and Festus were very much different. Chester was a meek and mild sidekick, while Festus was more ornery and rugged. Festus is a talented tracker and handy person in a brawl or a shooting scrap. He is also more typical of a western sidekick with a hillbilly accent and spurs that constantly jingled. It's no wonder that Ken Curtis, who played Festus, was so comfortable upholding the law in Dodge City. Curtis's dad was sheriff of Bent County in southeastern Colorado, about 190 miles due west of Dodge City. His, the jail was located on the second floor of a brick building in Los Alamos. The Curtis family lived on the first floor. Doc Adams, played by Milburn Stone. He was a town physician in Dodge City, Kansas, where he was known for his medical skills, gruff demeanor, and dedication to his patients. Despite his rough exterior, Doc had a compassionate side and often provided sage advice to Marshal Matt Dillon and other residents of Dodge City. Stone appeared as Doc Adams throughout the entire 20-season run of Gunsmoke. His consistent presence on the show made him one of the most enduring and beloved characters. Stone had an excellent chemistry with the rest of the cast, particularly James Arnez, who played Marshal Matt Dillon. The dynamic between Doc Adams and Marshall Dillon, as well as other characters like Miss Kitty and Festus, contributed to the show's success. Milburn Stone received acclaim for his portrayal of Doc Adams on Gunsmoke. He was nominated for several awards for his performance, including two Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. In 1961, Milburn Stone, he sold his residual rights to CBS for $100,000. Milburn Stone was one time a singer with Harry James and his orchestra. Newly, played by Buck Taylor, he served as Doc Adams' assistant, 
helping him with various medical tasks and procedures. Despite his young and lack of experience, Newley was dedicated to his duties and eager to learn from Doc Adams. Over the course of the series of Gunsmoke, Newley's character underwent significant development. He transitioned from being a novice assistant to becoming more confident in his abilities as a medical professional. He also formed close friendships with other characters, particularly Marshal Matt Dillon. Buck Taylor's portrayal of Newley O'Brien continued until the end of Gunsmoke's 20th season run. His departure from the series marked the end of an era for the show, as it concluded its long successful run on television. Newley O'Brien remains a beloved character among fans of Gunsmoke. His youthful energy and dedication added depth to the ensemble cast of the series and contributed to its enduring popularity. Buck Taylor has earned several Western awards over the years, receiving the Wrangler Award in 1972 and was inducted into the National Cowboy Western Heritage Museum as a trustee. He later received the National Festival of the West Award, Cowboy Spirit Award, in 1998 which actor Dennis Weaver also received several years later and received a plaque on the Walk of Western Stars. Gunsmoke featured numerous notable guest stars throughout its 20-season run. Some of these guest stars were already well-established actors at the time, while others went on to achieve fame in later years. Here are a few notable guest stars who appeared on the series. He had Burt Reynolds, Bruce Dern, Charles Bronson, and to name a few other were Jack Lord, Leonard Nimoy, Robert Redford, Harry Dean Stanton, Claude Akins, and Lee Marvin. Gunsmoke also featured several notable actresses who appeared in guest roles throughout its 20 season run, such as Betty Davis, Angie Dickinson, Rue McCallaghan, and Jodie Foster. Did you know that James Arness, who played Matt Dillon, didn't miss any episodes of the show? So, Ken Curtis refused to return for the first made-for-TV Gunsmoke movie after the show's run, due to a disagreements with the producer. Also, Amanda Blake, who played Miss Kitty, quit the show in 1974 because she grew tired of commuting from Phoenix to Hollywood. Also on Gunsmoke, Jeanette Nolan. She plays a guest star more times than any other woman that appeared on Gunsmoke. Altogether, Gunsmoke had 635 episodes, making it the longest-running primetime live-action drama in the United States. The show was almost canceled in 1967 due to low ratings, but CBS president William Paley, a fan of the show, moved it from Saturdays to Mondays, which helped it return to the Nielsen's top ten. In the UK, this was a comic strip. It was originally called Gun Law in the UK. The show's cancellation was initiated by younger CBS executives, who felt that the show was outdated and should be replaced with a more contemporary show. But the news of the cancellation outraged the public. Well, there you have it. Gunsmoke. One of my favorite Western shows and I still watch it to this day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please tell me who your favorite was in the show. And what favorite episode you might have had. Thank you very much.